Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nurturing a digital innovation ecosystem will stimulate the digital entrepreneurship, technology startups, supporting the growth of small and medium enterprises, and encouraging new public-private partnerships, all leading to the creation of more employment opportunities, to economic growth and innovation, and fueling digital transformation. My name is Dr. Munira Aminova. I'm a professor at the Business and Economics Department of Brussels School of Governance, and I work for ITU's ecosystem development projects leading to digital transformation. So how to promote digital innovation ecosystem and the culture of innovation? And what does it all mean? Today, this is what we're going to talk about and more. More precisely, we are going to take a closer look at the components of the digital innovation ecosystem and the term ecosystem in general. We will also look at three engines of growth, namely innovation, entrepreneurship and ICT enabled ecosystems. We will also talk about key factors that characterize the ecosystem, which each stakeholder faces during his or her innovation journey and build upon those key factors to determine what it takes to build an effective digital innovation ecosystem that will drive digital transformation. We will end our talk with some good practice cases from some European countries and by highlighting the key takeaways. The current global forces are pushing towards the implementation of the so-called green economy, where concepts such as inclusive sustainable development take a core role in major policy frameworks. Digital technologies combined with innovation can have a positive impact on sustainable development, advancing many different issues related, for instance, to health, well-being and education and many others. Every one of the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals can be accelerated through the adequate use of digital technology, enabling to end poverty and inequality, tackle climate change and environmental degradation and strive for peace and justice. From the public sector point of view, innovation and technology combined can help countries transform their public sectors, resulting in improved service provision. It brings governments, civil society and the private sector together to develop digital solutions that enable sustainable and equitable development. And it helps to create digital communities that can compete on a global scale, creating jobs and economic growth. Digital innovation is essential for countries to stay competitive in the global market and to avoid being on the wrong side of the digital divide. And the COVID-19 pandemic uh, last couple of years has reminded us how critical entrepreneurship driven innovation is for economic growth and digital inclusion. In order to better understand entrepreneurship at the digital world, we use the concept of the ecosystem. An ecosystem is a purposeful collaborating network of dynamic interacting systems that have an ever changing set of dependencies within a given context. Ecosystems are complex, multifaceted structures in which many elements interact and produce systems performance. Like in biological world, the ecosystem can flourish if all ingredients are sustainable and be destroyed if one of the components are cut off. The interaction and the process in this ecosystem is dynamic, resulting in multiple user-driven changes and constant iterations in the ecosystem. The assumptions of such an ecosystem are user-driven, bottom-up and open-source oriented. Vibrant ecosystems that are envy of all countries require a culture where stakeholders organically leverage existing resources and continuously update their policies and programs to remain competitive. So building an innovation culture at the country level is a journey and ecosystems go through stages of development. And in these stages, every stakeholder has actions they must take and roles they must play. A successful journey results in entrepreneurs delivering problem-solving innovations to their communities and in regional or global markets. But this success depends on many enabling building blocks, talent, infrastructure, capital, market, you know, enabling culture, policies and vision and strategy alignment that provides the key ingredients of robust and vibrant digital innovation ecosystems. 
Key factors that characterize the environment that each stakeholder faces in an innovation journey are vision and strategy, infrastructure and programs, talent and champions, capital and resources, markets and networks, culture and communities, and policy and regulation. The key ingredients for an innovation journey should be distributed abundant and available throughout a country. Key factors and components that enhance, foster, and facilitate digital transformation are clearly clustered and organized here. In an innovation ecosystem, entrepreneurs and innovators need policies, initiatives, and specific support programs to ensure successful digital transformation. In many countries, uh, the institutional capacity needed to adjust policies and programs to the needs of the digital innovation ecosystem may lag behind. To properly navigate the changing environment, countries analyze the needs of their society and respond continually with appropriate programs and policies to identify the necessary enablers and barriers countries are facing in their digital transformation journey. An enabling ecosystem for entrepreneurship includes access to finance, access to skilled talent, supporting networks, culture that is encouraging the entrepreneurship, market potential and infrastructure, both soft and hard. With an understanding of the enabling environment, now let us step back and look at the macro environment in which a country's ICT-centric ecosystem exists to create a digital transformation uh, of the economy. The three main ecosystems are fundamental to countries' digital transformation journey, and they must come together to allow innovation to flourish. They are the national innovation ecosystem, the entrepreneurial ecosystem, and the technology ecosystem. These three ecosystems interlink to form a country's innovation landscape from ideation to market. Understanding and assessing the ecosystem makes it possible to identify the enablers needed to achieve national ambitions. Enablers include programs, policies, and initiatives that foster digital transformation. The Venn diagram depicts the relationship between these three ecosystems. And you see that the convergence point of the three create an ICT-centric innovation ecosystem. The first one is a national innovation ecosystem. This includes research institutions, academia, and public sector entities such as national innovation agencies and public financial institutions that play an invaluable role in the national innovation journey, particularly in kick-starting innovation. The second one is, inter is the entrepreneurial ecosystem. This includes the entrepreneurs, their support mechanisms, and the organizations that initially nurture the formation of the enterprises and subsequently nurture their growth as small and medium-sized enterprises. Uh, the technology ecosystem, uh, it includes high-growth technology companies and ecosystems that support them. These also include tech companies, system integrators, firms in ICT sectors, and business-to-business -business technology platforms supporting the SMEs. These companies and their ecosystems are integrated into local and global value chains. This ecosystem development is critical to countries' ability to leverage technological innovation and to create high-growth industries and jobs. Some public administrations worldwide, and in Europe in particular, are taking a good advantage of the innovations that lead to digital transformation. It is clear that the digital transformation at the EU level will lead to the creation of policies and regulations that enable faster, more transparent and efficient delivery of public services. For instance, easier access to information and knowledge exchange and proactive and individualized public services versus reactive services. Overall, the digital innovation ecosystem will enable products and services that can serve uh, to deliver better and more responsive services for public administrations. Although there are major threats of digital information uh, transformation for public sector, private sector and individuals alike, like cybersecurity, breach of privacy, disinformation, and uh, last but not least, social issues like cyberbullying, hate speeches and other. The innovators that will create solutions will only thrive providing the right ecosystems in place. Uh, 
So integrating ICT-centric innovation policy monitors into national development agendas is very important. The COVID-19 pandemic caused hardship, which affected socio-economic lives of millions of people around the globe. But at the same time, it was an opportunity to accelerate innovation, entrepreneurship, particularly in the area of technology, leading to enormous surge in digitalization and digital transformation. Within a space of weeks, citizens moved to home offices, reducing face-to-face -face contact, children started homeschooling, while businesses and entrepreneurs had to innovate on a global scale to survive and adapt to the new realities. As crises can create and push innovations, the digital transformation was moved forward uh, on an unprecedented scale. Now the societies around the world are embracing this change to a new normal, shifting the delivery of services to different online platforms, enabling video conferences, traveling less, and having a better work-life balance. The governments in Europe have shown a great deal of political will to help ease the impact of the coronavirus outbreak. New policies and laws have been adapted to enable to new normal. All these initiatives serve as a stepping stone to an even better environment for digital innovation ecosystem. For entrepreneurs and startups who had the right ecosystem, this was an opportunity and opened the new doors by further enforcing the ubiquity of innovation and its global reach. Using technology, the entrepreneurs could reach large audiences without being restricted to geographic boundaries of traditional marketplaces. For customers, it further reduced the transaction costs for accessing the goods and services more easily, cross-compare the prices worldwide, and search for the find goods and services from the comfort of their home 24-7. However, the pandemic further deepened and widened the digital divide between and within the countries. The divide is between those who have access to technology, infrastructure and enabling laws and those who do not have access. It is also between those who live in the environment where the entrepreneurship and innovation ecosystems are conducive and supportive of entrepreneurs and small and medium enterprises and those who live on the environment where red tape, bureaucracy and other hurdles prevent entrepreneurs from taking initiatives and exploring benefits brought by the accelerated digital transformation due to COVID-19. In a rapidly changing global economy and technology landscape, achieving inclusive digital transformation of society presents a paradigm shift. In this new paradigm, technology is changing faster than policy can adapt. As a result, there is a growing digital innovation divide among the countries. This innovation gap is at the heart of the digital divide and many national policies and strategies, even in developed countries, often fail to close it. All EU countries recognize the importance of digital transformation and accelerated the implementation of policies to tackle persistent challenges, including countrywide digital agendas, industry 4.0 strategies, investments in infrastructure, dedicated digital skills and innovation programs, and facilitation of a more favorable environment for startups, researchers and innovators. Overall, the development of ICT-centric innovation ecosystems in Europe is not evenly spread, although the region as a whole is well positioned in terms of the vision and strategy for the development of innovation ecosystem fit for digital era. Some countries are far ahead of others in initiatives and programs and are already competing successfully in the global arena. So to avoid the brain drain or economic migration of those innovators and so-called ideators looking for better ecosystems, the countries need to create even more favorable conditions for innovators to thrive. This is where ITU can provide tools and expertise for nation states in identifying gaps and opportunities for further development. ITU and other international organizations have created tools to diagnose national ecosystems and co-create a better ecosystem, taking into account the needs of the stakeholders and the realities of each of the countries. Here we will be looking at the system comprising of four areas, ecosystem governance, linkages, capacity and focus. To date, it is observed that the traditional innovation agencies work in silos and only concentrate on innovation ecosystem, ignoring two engines of growth 
Agile and responsive ecosystem governance needs to be in place reflecting the needs of the community, otherwise few dominant players may suppress the smaller, more innovative players. Nurturing linkages through all stages that innovators go through is important. Changing, adapting and co-creating policies, rules and regulations. This guides and facilitates innovation culture. Regarding capacity, it is noted that open innovation platforms that encourage collaboration are essential for competitiveness. Universities and other hubs are important where innovative ventures often are driven by technologies that come from basic research and pass through the technology transfer channels to commercialization. To enable digital transformation of value chains, the change is needed in academic, government and corporate concepts of innovation and coordinated efforts in all parts of the ecosystem to support the innovators. Ecosystem focus, which will allow innovative enterprises to succeed in scaling in the public or private sector is essential to building competitiveness in globally connected digital economies. Innovation is a systems issue where stakeholders need to collaborate within and across sectors. Without this collaboration and coordination on initiatives, many ecosystems are struggling to create impact and ensure sustainability. Digital transformation ecosystem accelerators are extra tools to accelerating digital transformation. They enable ecosystem coordination mechanisms and the development of bankable initiatives that ensure impact across the sectors. For example, with the National Digital Transformation Acceleration Center, countries can have a whole ecosystem approach to digital transformation. This enables a mechanism to unlock digital potential through multi-stakeholder and multi-sector collaboration focused on national development priorities. There are many good practices in Europe fueling the entrepreneurial journey. What you can see in this slide is by far not an exhaustive list of good practices and initiatives, but rather a sample. The region has many good practices that can be used to accelerate digital transformation and serve as a basis for better policies in countries where gaps have been identified. There are multiple EU-funded programs also which support the innovation at the EU level. To achieve better outcomes in key sectors, countries need to accelerate digital ecosystem initiatives and improve ecosystem coordination at the national level. Without the coordination, and if the interventions are done in silos, this may inhibit the ultimate goals, affect the achievement of national ambitions, and lead to slow digital transformation. The digital innovation gap is one of the main root causes of the digital divide. Innovation is a systems issue where stakeholders need to collaborate within and across sectors. Without this collaboration and coordination on initiatives, many ecosystems are struggling to create impact and ensure sustainability. One of the ways forward could be developing key digital innovation systems to enhance collaboration with national stakeholders and international partners. To accelerate digital transformation opportunities by leveraging technological changes while organically building the innovation capacity and culture of national stakeholders. And finally, scale up the impact and sustainability of national initiatives to create lasting impact for beneficiary populations. The results could be the development of homegrown digital innovation systems that create systemic impact. The accelerators that we talked about, it could also be a strong enabler for digital transformation at the national level and can be included in the national development plan. ITU is currently developing a blueprint for a National Digital Transformation Acceleration Center. There are four key opportunities that can be addressed in any ecosystem to enable its competitiveness. Governance, linkages, capacity and focus. These building blocks, when underpinned by good practice, enable an ecosystem to be vibrant and competitive. Without a mature ecosystem, Economists cannot navigate the peaks and valleys of technological change. As a result, quality talent in less mature ecosystems often migrate to more mature ecosystems, compounding the problem and making digital development less likely. The ecosystems evolve in most cases through the interaction of top-down policymakers and their choices and bottom-up creative individuals. Thus, it's a combination of public provision and private initiative. 
Overall, we find many significant and fascinating initiatives of digital transformation and of the ecosystem which breeds innovation within Europe, cementing its position as innovation and knowledge hub. Some of those initiatives can serve as an inspiration for other regions in the world. But we also see that many brilliant ideas remain at the grassroots and do not come to fruition. This is due to non-enabling ecosystems that lack the capability to breed new ideas and innovations. This then concludes my lecture. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me by email if you have any questions. Thank you.